Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be installing SysRaptor. So if you guys aren't familiar with SysRaptor, it's a penetration testing reporting tool that I used on my CPTS and my CBBH and soon come my CAPE and some other certifications that I'm going to be taking from Hack the Box. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's get into it. So what I'm gonna be doing is installing this on my Ubuntu machine. So let's just go out to the interwebs and I am already here, docs at dot sysraptor.com slash setup slash installation. So before we actually go here, I wanna duplicate this really quick and I wanna show you guys something really cool. So if you see hack the box reporting, so hack the box reporting, and this is our free, you know, write, uh, free cloud service to write your own reports. So if you're taking any of these certifications, CPTS, CBBH, CDSA, CSEE, CAPE, CJ, uh, CJCA reports, um, it's fully customizable, it's free. You can write in Markdown, you can render your reports to uh, PDFs, and this is super, super cool. So you can sign up, but well, we're gonna go ahead and install this today. And you can look, for example, CPTS, you can look at the demo report and you can see how it is, right? So we're gonna go ahead and just install SysRaptor today. So let's just get into it, shall we? So the installation, some prerequisites that we need to do, we have a server, you have self-hosted, that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm running it on Ubuntu and I have, I think, allocated 16 gigs of RAM to this machine. So if you're doing on a client, you know, you have your uh, cloud and you can do self-hosted as well. What is required here? Obviously, a network connection to the server, up-to-date uh, de desktop browser, one of these, Edge, Chrome, Safari, and uh, Firefox. And here, here is the installation guide. Right, so self-hosted, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the easy script installation. And we're just gonna follow these steps and see what's up, right? So first things first, you always wanna make sure you do your updates. So let's just copy that first command, throw it into the terminal, my fancy password, and let's see what's up. I just installed this, so nothing really should be yelling at me right now. So let's go ahead and do the next command here. Let's go ahead and copy the next command. These are for the requirements. And let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna let it do its thing and give us the results. Cool, that is good to go. So that is the second step here. The next thing we need to do is install Docker. So let's go ahead and just copy this and paste it into our command and hit enter. And we're gonna see what's up, give this a moment. And if this doesn't work, what we're gonna do, so yeah, so I'm gonna show you a little trick. I remember how to do this, and the reason why I remember is because I have it in my notes when I installed this when I did my CPTS. So we'll let it bomb, and I'm glad I did this so you guys can see what happens. So, we'll give this a minute. I don't think it's gonna work. So what we can see here, um, we need to make sure we can see to run the Docker is a non-privilege. So what I wanna do really quick is I'm going to, let me go back to that. Oh, I think that should be good. Install Docker is good, sorry. It's the next step that I, is when we ran the script. So that's why I was like, oh, that worked on my notes. but. Second thing, or the next thing, we have to download the SysRaptor install script. So if you just come here, copy this, and paste it, it's not gonna work. So what I did is just do sudo su, and then paste it into here, and you should be good, right? And now we're gonna go ahead and install the community edition of SysRaptor. And license key, leave blank for community edition. Do you want to upgrade later? I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it blank. Let's go ahead and hit enter here. And you wanna encrypt your files and database? I guess yes for me. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And do, do you understand that you'll lose all your data? Yeah, that's fine for me. I don't care. 
after this video, I'll probably demolish this anyway. Um, should we set up a web server, Candy in Docker? Yes, we want to make sure that is set up correctly and go ahead and put yes for my uh, for my Let's Encrypt 443. I want to go ahead and use that. And we're going to go ahead. I don't know if I can put this to the top, but it's asking us a reachable, fully qualified domain name. For an example, I'm just going to put like for an example, Pat dot sysraptor sysraptor dot com right just for whatever all right and now it's going to go ahead and do its thing and it's going to go ahead and run all right so that took i don't know five minutes or so so after that's all done it's going to go ahead and say everything seems good now or everything seems to be up now and then it's going to go finish the initially uh, initialization of the data creating the users and everything like that and very nice now you can log into pat uh, dot sysraptor.com slash blah 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 so i want to go ahead and copy it's asking me if i copied this no i haven't yet so i want to go ahead and copy this right click on copy and let me go ahead and just open up a text editor and I want to go ahead and paste this in here. And we'll get back to this later. So let's go ahead and see if we can ignore this. Uh, ignore, ignore. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is an ignore? Whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize that for now. And yes, I copied it. Thank you. And yes, go ahead and. Yep. Okay. So. That wasn't, uh, this was easy, wasn't it? Okay, cool deal. So now we have everything that we need, right? So now what I can do really quick is just run, um, let's do an LS really quick, or LS, not PS. Okay, so what we're gonna do really quick is just do Docker, and let's make sure our Docker is up, Docker PS. And we can see our Docker is running. Candy, DB, everything is good to go. All right, cool deal. So now let's see if we can access this, right? So if we do an IP a show, we can see what is my IP address on here? It should be 192 something, um, 192.168. But I wanna go ahead and just try to access it through the, through the website. So let's go ahead and copy this, go ahead and go over to Firefox and paste this here. And I guess it's oh, uh, 8,000. All right, so that's not gonna work. Let's see, did I miss something? Let's come back up here. And you can now log in. Let's go back to the, re let's come back here. It's been a minute. So let's go ahead and just access the application on port 8,000. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I wonder, uh, let's see. Oh, I see, because it's trying to access HTTPS. Okay, let's go ahead and just do, scratch that. Let's just go ahead and just do 127.0.0.1. Whoops, my numlock is not on. Okay, one second. 127.0.0.1 colon 8000. Okay. All right. So this is our user. Uh, this is our user interface. So let's try to go ahead and log in. I want to use Raptor. Copy this. And there is a few more things I want to show, just to um, show you how you can access this through. All right. Let's log in first. Let's make sure. Not nah, skip MFA for now. And we have everything in here. Now this is your templates. You can get your templates. You can see the different designs and all that stuff. You can see like your profile, your theme. You can put like, okay, I wanna do dark theme. This is a lot better for me. And you can see like, you can do your notes and so on and so forth, right? So now the next thing is I wanna show you, so say for example, I'm in a VM, right? So if I get out of my VM and I wanna to try to access this remotely or over the internet or over the, over the network, 
How do we do that? So that's gonna be the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do really quick. So let's go ahead and minimize that, minimize this, and let's go ahead and just, let, let's make this bigger really quick so we can make these modifications. And what I wanna do, I have some notes from when I did this, because I had, you know, I wanted to make sure I can access my reporting tool from my local machine if I have to make any changes to my report. So what you can do is now let's go ahead and CD. All right, first let me do an LS. Let's CD into Sysraptor. Let's do an LS and we have these files. So let's go ahead into deploy. Let's go LS. And then we have some uh, Sysraptor uh, fi uh, folder. And now we have this docker uh, dash compose yum. This is our yum file. This is our, so what we're gonna do really quick is I wanna actually do docker compose down. I wanna go ahead and bring everything down really quick. And then I wanna go ahead and nano my um, docker file. Oh, before we even do, it, it's, it wasn't gonna work anyway. So if we come into here, we can see our binding IPs is only binding to 127.0.0.1. If we want to get to this on any interface, we have to do 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 colon 8000. And then if we save this, hit enter, we should be good. Now we just have to uh, bring it back up. So let's go ahead and bring it back up really quick. Uh, do, 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 up. And then let's do up oh, dash D. Bring this baby back up. All right. So once this is back up, it's all healthy. Now what we can do is do an IPA show really quick. Now any interface, it's going to listen on, right? So for an example, if I just go to my iNet, let's go ahead and copy this. And locally, let, let's do this locally first so we can make sure we can still hit it. Okay, so we can still hit it locally, right? And let's see if we can just try this IP really quick. All right, we're able to get to it 192.168. And this is on the local server. So now let's take this a step further. So now let me go on to my local machine where I'm just on my machine chilling and I have my server up and running. And let me go ahead and go ahead and copy that IP address again. Let me just try to copy this whole URL. Hopefully I can copy this and I can bring this to my local machine. No? All right. So let me go ahead and one, one, 192, 160, I, I need to write this down. One second. Let me just 192.168.217.1. Colon 8,000. Okay, so let's come back to my local machine. And now let's go HTTP. Oh, let's just try 192.168.217.129 colon 8,000. And now you can see I'm able to access this remotely. So this is on my local machine, I'm accessing the Ubuntu server. So that's pretty much it. This is how you can set up Sysraptor in your own environment. Hopefully you found it informative. Thank you so much for viewing. And if you have any comments, leave it in the comments below and enjoy your journey on setting up reports. Thank you and have a wonderful day.